Hi Pisces and welcome to your March 2022 general tarot forecast. I'm so happy to be coming on and talking to you about your month ahead, about your season. In this video, I'm going to detail up uh, your solar return um, and the impact of Pisces season on a Pisces person. I'm really looking forward to that as I have a lot to learn myself about this very promising, very infinite period of time. This might just be one of the most significant chapters of our lives when it comes to the way that we work with our dreams, the ways that we work with, um, you know, the need to end, conclude, and uh, cross that bridge finally, okay? Um, there is a sense of finality here. There is a sense of infinite wisdom and infinite connection to cause, okay? Uh, so we've been talking on this channel quite a bit about uh, connecting to ultimate cause, understanding why we're here, the significance of some of the paths that we've been on for a long time. And I think the month of March 2022 is going to solidify it, or it's going to make it unavoidable, okay, and unbreakable in a way. There's a feeling of unavoidable contact to purpose and unbreakable uh, contact with that as well. So... Um, as you guys probably saw in the March comprehensive video, we have a slew of uh, Pisces stellium energy coming in, and uh, what an incredible difference that's going to make for you as a Pisces person. I'm trying to articulate it, and I feel that a lot of you kind of know it in your own gut as well, like, wow, this is a period of time where I can't you know, just play it safe, really. This is a period of time where I understand perhaps in the future once I'm finishing some of these things that I'm committed to, I can't just hold up the status quo or I can't just hold up repetition. I have to actually do what matters. There's a feeling of this like life is too short. Um, I don't know if I can remember. I actually wrote this down earlier, Pisces. Let me look through my notes here. As I was journaling earlier and working with this energy, I was um, feeling this. and I'm just finding that uh, for you. Um, it's kind of like... There are a few things that we have to be done with, and uh, maybe even by the equinox of 2023, so like a year from now, for those of you who have commitments that you can't just, you know, step away from, maybe you have to plan it out in the future at this point in time. Um, you know, it's like life is too short to be young and to want something big and to say no for sake of, you know, the status quo or holding up your own security. I mean, regardless of your age, regardless of whether you're 20 or whether you're 70 or how old you are, I feel that we have to take a life is too short, I'm too young to uh, be facing something here. Um, there's a need to look to the youthful aspect of ourselves as Pisces people right now, uh, because Pisces is the oldest sign in the zodiac. So if you have a lot of Pisces in your chart, if you have Sun or Saturn or um, even like Pisces rising, there's always gonna be this feeling like I've gotta look out for the future, I've got to just accept my maturity, I've got to be uh, adulting, I've got to make the uh, sort of adult connected decision. And then if you have Capricorn in your chart, that's going to be uh, majorly the case. And I feel that this Pisces season here in 2022 is uh, going to be asking you like, are you actually needing to be that old or are you needing to treat yourself so anciently? Could you do what matters to you at a more youthful level? Could you do the more um, the thing that you actually want or the thing that you actually need, because I feel that Pisces for many years got very subdued or very um, insecure with what their capabilities were. And the universe is actually asking you to step up a little bit here and to uh, start releasing these ideations that you have to uh, sort of uh, prostitute yourself out to any type of cause that is not yours, okay? I know that that's some kind of severe language there, but that's what we can see during this time is like um, the inability to step away from something lukewarm or the feeling that it's all that you have going for you or you can't adapt to something else. And I understand uh, so a lot of us have to create hybrid experiences for ourselves. <clears throat> and I think a lot of us have been trying to do that over these last two years where it's like, you know, we're in tough times. There's been a pandemic. There's been, um, you know, all sorts of ripples relating to that that make us find ourselves in a state where we're like, you know, I can't just necessarily throw caution to the wind. You know, there are some things that I have to make sure are in order so that I don't find myself in too vulnerable of a place. So again, it's like this battle and Pisces is a dualistic sign, right? It's the two fish. So you could see there's one part of yourself 
that's like, I can't make any changes. I have finally found some type of independence, even if it's not what's right for me. It is independent. I have autonomous control over myself and I'm good. And there's another part of you that's like, but I have things that my soul is yearning for that have nothing to do with, uh, you know, independent, secure situations. They have to do with results or they have to do with a uh, connection to something that I've uh, just discovered. Okay, so we have a battle of old world and new world coming up here, which we've been talking at length about on this channel. Definitely check out my 2022 year ahead video uh, for all the signs if you want to know more about that, as I talked a lot about that in that video. Um, but you guys basically, as Pisces people, have done it, okay? Like, you guys don't really have some of the same rules or some of the same pitfalls or worries that some of the other zodiac sign have. I mean, the power of Jupiter, Neptune, Sun, many other planets in your sign is like infinite. And I would recommend that you guys slot or um, solidify for yourselves the dream that you have and understand how it can mesh with what you currently have or how you can step onto that, at least in time, okay? That seems to be the most important thing because with it being so heavily Pisces focused right now, uh, things can kind of slip away or things can be almost uh, uninterpretable or there can be a fogginess or a kind of just not clear ideation about what it is that we're actually wanting. We might just kind of know that we want something different. So try to clarify it and try to make it as concise as possible so you can really decide, you know, do I want to move towards this or would I like to stay where I am? Um, let's check out your week to week for the month ahead, Pisces. In the first week of March, you have the three of swords rooted down by the six of pentacles. So the first week of March is already like, I am a bit upset at the commitments that I have. I'm a bit upset to be completely reliant or contracted to something that is not really in my heart anymore. So this is something that's collective. It's not just you, Pisces. It's something that we're all collectively going through where we think, what was once the best thing for me now is a bit tight or I've outgrown something that I've been in before. And we have to understand the crux of this because it's a weird alchemy that we're in right now where we don't want to risk things, but we know that things aren't right or things aren't where we exactly want to be. Um, so I feel that the first week of March really is just about feeling this and it's about understanding how committed you actually are. And I, I want to introduce something to you guys really interesting. I'm going to take a drink of coffee here. One moment. I want to introduce to you guys something um, perhaps uh, really pivotal. Things You might have way more transformative power than you're giving yourself credit for. It's almost like within a period of 48 hours, like you could have exactly what you want. Okay. It's almost like you need to create an executive plan in some way, especially while the sun is in Pisces, I mean before the equinox, and the equinox will come in and really, you know, zoom this up for you. But um, you need to kind of create a plan and not make it something that's like set in stone for yourself. Like I've been shown quite a few things from the universe over the month of February, where it was like, I didn't think that the work I was doing back then would ever contribute to my future momentum. I didn't think that uh, that trauma or that time period could ever be a positive contributor. And then February 20, 2022 came in and it was like, it is exactly what you needed. It contributes. It gives you a lot. So we're kind of having to wake up to our own capacity to doom or uh, catastrophize or convince ourselves that something is not contributive when it actually is. So we have like a self-defeating mindset that has to be transcended during this Pisces season. And we have to think about, you know, what needs to be washed away? What needs to be thrown away? What needs to be relinquished? Or even for some people, sacrificed, okay? Um, that's a sketchy word sometimes, but there might be some bad habits or some addictions or some things that we can just let go of here. Pisces, it is so open for you to have what you want. And some of the things from your past that you don't think contribute really do and really can give you a tailwind during this time or can give you a little bit of a you know wind in your sails to boost your momentum um you are better off than you think you are but the first week is still going to be like so this isn't like a life or death issue this isn't like maybe as tumultuously difficult as you think it is but why do you think it's that way is it maybe more of an artistic uh conflict is it more of a 
uh, branding conflict? Is it more of a uh, just you not really wanting to be where you thought you wanted to be and you've got to now convince yourself that it's like a terrible situation just to get yourself out of there when it's not really so bad. It's just that you don't necessarily want to be there as much as you thought. And you're trying to maybe in a roundabout way kind of like transcend or manifest your way out of it by making it a bigger problem so that you don't feel like you're, uh, I don't know, cutting off your security or stepping out of something positive. You got to like make it negative for yourself to get away from it. You know what I mean? Uh, week number two, the hanged man reversed through down by the lovers. It's the same exact energy at a more major scale. It's like, I have to convince myself that I'm stuck in order to go left or right at the crossroads instead of just going that way anyway. And I think the second week of March, this is the last week of Pisces season, is going to see you at least knowing, even if it's not quite happening yet, even if you've got to take a whole other year to like save the money or convince yourself that it's not quite right or whatever, even if you've got to take a whole other equinox period, you kind of know in the second week of March that things are going to have to eventually not be so concerning for you or not be so um, kind of uh, tight or uh, malfitting. So um, for some Pisces people, this means quite a big change in lifestyle to facilitate their eventual movement through this portal. And I mean, it's kind of super likely that you might get even more or you might be making more money. You might be uh, having an easier time with things right as you step into this portal, but I feel you guys just not quite trusting yourself or not quite uh, wanting to move. Again, the hanged man is like, I just want to kind of experience this stagnation or I want to just kind of be in control of this by knowing how it keeps on coming for me. And um, that is something that we have to think about transcending because again, all this Pisces energy, it's going to like wash away the stagnant or it's going to erode. And I can even see for some people like... Um, that representing itself in the body. So the body doing its own like eroding processes, uh, allergies or um, digestive issues like IBS or thyroid problems to signal you that you're stagnant or to signal you that you uh, need to move forward. So the third week of uh, March, we have an equinox happening. We have the astrological new year. Congratulations, uh, everyone. Uh, this long cycle of kind of like year of the ox, monotonous, enduring, uh, difficult uh, stuff to face, nine of wands, ten of wands energy has evolved and is now uh, turning us into a more uh, capable, more um, quick moving, precise uh, manifester. Okay. And I feel for Pisces, it can go one of two ways. This can be nine of swords or this can be nine of pentacles. It is often a combination, okay, when you know that there's this like change on the horizon, when you know that you have to uh, kind of level up or uh, strengthen your capacity for positive change, there is this, on one hand, extreme empowered feeling with Nine of Pentacles, like, wow, I see where I'm evolving to. But then there's also this Nine of Swords part, like, how does that logistically happen and how do I prepare a chain of events that makes it a positive transformation and not a loss or not some type of um, difficulty. So um, for you, Pisces, I think that the third week of March has to be a celebration of the fact that you allowed yourself a better thought or you allowed yourself a better possibility, even if it's still stuck in the head, even if you haven't like followed through on it, like just look at how much bigger you're allowing yourself to think or how much more you're allowing yourself to uh, take on. And by the fourth week, eight of swords rooted down by uh, seven of pen pentacles. Again, it's a similar kind of juxtaposition that you're having in, a, in the third week where it's like, I'm so happy. I'm so empowered feeling by these new opportunities, by these new evolutions, but also I feel kind of trapped or I feel kind of like I, I just can't get out of this stagnant mindset. And it's not just you. This is kind of a microcosm for everyone, um, which indicates to me a hybrid experience. Okay, it indicates to me a little bit of both. You know, a little bit of major empowerment and a little bit of, like, insecurity. A little bit of uh, noble evolution and a bit of, you know, um, difficult ideation about, you know, how it works and why we're uh, not figuring it out yet and and uh, 
how do we actually create this formula? It's a little bit polarized, isn't it? But it's also kind of minor in comparison to the actual uh, potentials that you are facing. And I'm sorry, Pisces, the uh, snowplow people are just going by on the street. It's very loud and uh, uh, kind of obnoxious noises. But, you know, Sky sits down to film a reading and all of a sudden the uh, infrastructural machines are out and uh, whirring. So that, that tends to be the way it goes. Um, anyway, Pisces, uh, final messages for the month of March 2022. This is a s cause for celebration. Any conflict that you're having, any you know, sort of crossroads that you can't decide which way to go is a cause for celebration because it says that you're evolving. It says that you are no longer inhibited by the um, need to convince yourself that what you currently have is all you can have. Uh, it's a growing pains, basically, in March of 2022. So let's talk more about those growing pains in your extended reading on Patreon. Um, I definitely would uh, love for you guys to come check it out. I have a new tier called New Synergy on Patreon, which is basically an updated 2022 tier. Um, and you get all of the readings early and ad-free. You get uh, weekly tea chats. And uh, there is a slew of other content offerings over there as well. So come check it out. And uh, all the extendeds will be available uh, to you with that membership. So uh, click in the center of your screen and link below, and we will do this extended reading. Much love, Pisces. Bye.